Three major reasons to wait until June 2023 or after to buy a new car. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. For some time now, we've been advising our viewers to wait at least until June or after to buy a new car. There are three very compelling reasons why you should wait, and we're going to get into those. One of those reasons we've had to keep under wraps since November last year due to confidentiality reasons. It has to do with a recent announcement we made, but the other two are largely out in the open. An easily understood fact, and the first reason for waiting until June or after has been that new car inventory has been steadily improving. Very much so. Mm -hmm, and it just keeps continuing. Pretty much every manufacturer is doing a lot better than they were a short time ago. In other words, the shortage is fixing itself, and all the data points to the fact that inventory levels should be high enough by June or soon after to create two new motivators to discount vehicles. While it's true that some automakers have been playing supply games and doing a little sandbagging. Like Toyota. <laughs> yes, like Toyota. Despite a seemingly universal commitment to choking off supply to keep prices high, there's already evidence of some automakers breaking ranks with the others. Increasing inventory means increased manufacturer rebates and dealers being more willing to wheel and deal as cars are steadily sitting for longer periods on the lot. There's evidence of that happening right now all across the country. And while it's true that it may not be every city and every brand, it is definitely happening in most. If you don't see it happening in your area, consider expanding your search to out-of-state dealers. The second reason to wait until at least mid or late June is that all of you are aware of the FTC's looming implementation deadline for the FTC regulations for car dealers. While there hasn't been an official date announced yet, we think that's coming in late June for a few reasons. At the same time the FTC began working on the new regulations, they also started work on a new safeguards rule and they have laid down a June 9th implementation for those safeguard rules, rules drafted at approximately the same time as the new regulations for car dealers were. They had a December 2022 deadline initially, but on November 15th last year, the FTC announced it was extending by six months the deadline for companies to comply with the safeguard amendments from December 2022 to June 9th, 2023. We knew with that announcement, with the regulation implementation had also been delayed, but June 9th for the safeguards rule is coming up fast. By June 9th, 2023, dealers must be in compliance with the FTC's safeguards rule. Because most people may not have heard of the safeguards rule, we'll take a moment to spell it out for you. Before we dive into the technical tidbits of FTC safeguard compliance, let's take a moment to think about how much personal information a dealership collects from you. Oh, right. Their website likely asks you for your full name, phone number, and email address. Anyone looking to purchase a new car will need to give the dealer their social security number in order to get financing options. Shoppers looking for a test drive from home are often asked to provide the dealer with their home address for pickup purposes. That is a lot of very personal, highly sensitive data, and the unfortunate truth is that dealers haven't always been overly careful with all of that information. Right. We're all familiar with dealer data breaches, and both Kevin and I knew of salesmen who collected credit apps from customers and kept them in their desk drawer. <laughs> yes. So now that you know what the safeguards rule is, you should also be aware that the safeguards rule is a sister rule to the regulations we've told you so much about. And with June 9th being the deadline for those rules, we think that the month of June is the likely implementation for the regulations too. That's right. It's an almost any day now proposition with the FTC rules, but we think it could be in later June when that happens. In anticipation of all of this, large dealer groups have been hiring compliance officers mm -hmm. to help keep their dealership in line with the rules. So growing inventory was number one, but the likely implementation of the regulations is another very solid reasons to wait. Who wouldn't want to be car shopping with that kind of reinforcement in your back pocket? <laughs> You'll have a huge advantage when dealers cannot tell you, Oh, those rules aren't implemented yet. No dealer successfully survives an FTC investigation without huge fines, so they can't afford not to comply with those regulations. Good point. The third reason for waiting until June or after to buy a new car, but far from the least of these three reasons, is that the Homework Guide team has been chosen to help launch an all-new way of buying cars this year. Because the launch of this new venture hasn't been officially announced yet, and the websites aren't live with public information yet, and the fact that we are under an NDA to not disclose specific details, we can't give you too much information. We can only say it's totally worth the wait. We've been waiting years for something like this to come along. That's and right. 
and we will be over the top excited to share how to sign up. A couple important details we can share with you now. It won't cost you, the car buyer, a dime to sign up to buy a car without dealer hassles. So there's no charge at a consumer level. That much you can count on. Last year, the launch date for this process was set tentatively for June 1st, but that is looming fast and it could easily move to middle or late June or possibly even to August. As you can imagine, there are a lot of moving parts to get lined up with something this big. If you've ever looked enviously at how easy it is to buy a car from Tesla, but you prefer another type of vehicle from a different manufacturer, this new process will help kick open the door to making buying a new car about that easy. As we said in our previous show announcement, it will be like buying a car homework guy style. It will be fair, honest, and easy, and there won't be any of the predatory behavior involved. Who wouldn't want that? There's no doubt in our minds that it's a worthwhile opportunity to wait for. You'll get to be totally done with car salesmen like this troll going by Baseball Joe. Baseball Joe. Who recently said our channel. Good to see watchdogs like this giving me a playbook on how to make sure I can keep as much as I can in my commission check so I can beat their tactics. Baseball Joe, perhaps best if you stick to playing baseball. Sure. You likely hate us, but but what are you going to do when you have no role in the sale of a new car later this year? Mm -hmm. When your dealer sends you packing because they don't need you anymore? For our viewers, you might ask, how will this process be different from what you currently have to do to buy a new car? For one, you get to bypass guys like Baseball Joe. Yeah. And as Liz already said, you'll get all the benefits that go along with the new convenience all at no charge to you. How can you beat that? In addition, there won't be forced add-ons and piles of dealer fees waiting for you to pay. You won't be and can't be forced to pay for something that you didn't specifically want. That alone is worth thousands of dollars to you. Dealers are getting so consistent with illegally forced add-on charges right now that the stories we continue to hear are mind-boggling. Yeah. Another major difference is that you'll never pay another market adjustment again. Something that 34% of new car buyers did just in December 2022 alone, that nonsense will be gone. So let me ask you this. Have you ever wanted to buy a car just by completing some homework, either by building it on the manufacturer's site or scanning broad inventories of vehicles and then determining what a fair price is for it? What if you didn't have to trade emails with dealers at all? Or you can make just one reasonable offer and get multiple takers. Wouldn't that be the new car buyer's dream? No negative equity concerns with a reasonable down payment. No expensive dealer gap insurance needed. It will actually be fun to buy a car again, won't it? Yes! I've always been a buyer of good used cars myself, but I could actually be convinced to change my mind and buy a new car for myself through that process working like that. We hope that today's show helped convince you that you have three compelling reasons to wait until after June 2023 to pull the trigger on a new car purchase. And they're all good reasons. They're good reasons. Do not be a victim of an unscrupulous dealer by jumping the gun. You can see why, especially now, you have to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can stay up to date for upcoming THG announcements. For our newest viewers, you can also connect with the team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and what things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguide.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving even a small tip at any of the links you can find in the description box below. You will also see a super thanks button below the video. Thanks everyone, we appreciate everything you do for us. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We hope you'll join us in turning the automobile business upside down this year. The homework guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business, and soon enough, an all new way of buying cars. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.